Honor Club, where honor is real. You people have had the privilege to watch the last real man, the technician of honor, exhibit pro wrestling prowessness at its most base, purest form. Oh, this is disgusting. You and I both know, Silas, all those matches we had, you cheated to win. Oh, oh God! That's the bell hammer! The office knows, the fans know it, and most importantly, Silas, you know it. You can't beat me in a fair one-on-one -on -one match. I beat you in the middle of that ring with a wrestling move. Oh, give me a break! With a small package. One, two, and no! Come on! Silas steals so let's settle this once and for all. The only way I can see to do it is under pure rules. John Gresham, you want to issue your little challenge from Japan? Well, consider that challenge accepted. It's going to be John Gresham versus the technician of honor in a pure rules wrestling match. Ugh, you know, Silas Young, he's had all this opportunity in the world to just run his mouth because Jonathan Gresham has been wrestling in Japan at the Super Juniors. But come June 28th, in a pure rules match, he's going to have to put his money where his mouth is. For the first time at Best in the World since 2006, pure rules. We will have an explanation before the match begins from Senior of Ricotte Sinclair, the man who draw through this assignment. We talked about series. Kenny King, Jay Lethal, two to one, wrapping that up. Silas Young has, I'll say, and cheated his way to two and zero oh against Russia. The technician. Of I tell you what, the Rick and Mine is through. Who is what they fall in love with Rick and Mine. This match is set for one ball, and it will be contested under Ring of Honor Pure Wrestling Rules. Introducing first, wrestling out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing 220 pounds, he is professional wrestling's last real man, Silas Young. Silas Young. It's fired up by trash talking the fans, but tonight, competing under pure rules, senior referee Todd Sinclair will provide those shortly. 2-0 and against Jonathan Gresham, both times cheating to win. I'll say it, cheating to win to defeat Jonathan Gresham. Jonathan Gresham has been Super Juniors. Caprice, you called it, Colt. We've been calling the matches in Caprice's absence. Look at that wrestling stance. Oh, yeah. Not seen since the great Burn Ganya, right? I'll tell you what, there's no place like home, though. I uh, know. We're glad to have you back. And Cole, we're glad to have you here. I know unfortunate circumstances, but here tonight, we get to call the first Pure Rules match in nearly 10 years wow. in Ring of Honor. It should be a good one, because this man is the master of the pure style. One of the great technicians in all the world. Here he is. Hit the party. Wrestling out of Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing 175 pounds. The Octopus, Jonathan Gretchen. You know, that robe inspires some comparisons for me, including the great Brian Danielson, one of the men who held that pure championship. Some of the names that you go down the list. Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, Nigel McGuinness. I was going to say for that robe, it reminds me of Antonio Inoki. Of course, we know his background in terms of pure professional wrestling. The great showing in the best of Super Juniors really did bring him on a crowd in Japan. And now coming back for revenge on Silas Young. Now we'll hear the rules from senior referee Todd Sinclair. Drew this assignment for this huge match. Come on, monkeys, keep it up. Okay. Don Gresham, Silas Young. Here are the rules for this pure wrestling match. We each get three rope breaks to break up a pinfall or submission. When you use those three rope breaks, the ropes are in and can be used by you, but they cannot be used by you to break up a pin or submission. There are to be no close fist strikes to the face. The first close fist should be given a warning, and on the second, you'll be disqualified. 
Both understand these rules. Okay, shake hands, go to the corner, and ring, wait for the bell. Code of honor adhered to. There you have it. Most importantly, those rope breaks. Yeah. Cool. Submission or pin, if you're put in either predicament, you only get three. After that, they are out of play. And Colt, you've competed for the, the now defunct Pure Championship. You've been in a number of these matches. Yeah, I had a, a brutal one against Samoa Joe in New Jersey. And this does change the way that the wrestling match is kind of put together. Well, I tell you what, man, for so many times, so many matches, Jonathan Gresham has been put in other people's houses. But this is Jonathan Gresham's match. This is his house. Yeah, you definitely change up your game. You change it up. You have to think about the rules, how they're put in play. Gresham likes to wrestle this style, but Silas Young, he's claiming now he is the best at this. Saying he's the technician of honor. Nice side headlock here from Gresham. Forcing that body weight down on the neck as he wrenches it in. R-O-H-B-I-T-W still trending in the United States. Fans are checking in, including about this match as Silas going for the hammerlock here. And a lot of strategies gonna be put together with these rope breaks. Getting out of it. The ropes will only be here to hit and to spring them up of. And trying to put pressure onto that elbow. Nice single leg takedown. Has the knee grapevine, the leg grapevine. Driving it back down. Gresham, such a great technician, a tactician. Look at this. One, two. Keeping those hands clasped. Great strategy. Ooh! Open hand chop. And in the pure rules matches, you cannot deliver the closed fist to the face, but you can. Deliver yeah. open hand slaps. Well within the rules. Yeah. Open shot. Oh, very kind of Silas Young to help describe to everybody. Wow. That's what you want to call it. Think about the great lineage, John Walters, of course, a name we Ooh, wow, yeah. did not mention earlier with yeah. your wrestlers. Wow, how did you get that name? Standing switch here. Drop down to one knee, go behind standing switch. Great wrestling here from Silas Young. He is a great wrestler when pressed to be one. And, okay. This is our, I will keep track here. This is our first rope break. And what a move by Silas well, he Young. Got, he did that. He essentially yeah. lifted up Gresham, brought him over to the ropes. Number one for Jonathan Gresham. He, he created that rope break. Gresham saying fair play to Silas. Well within the rules. Well within the rules. Five. Every time for the man. Really? Using that size advantage and smartly played by Silas yeah. Young. Yeah. He you baited see. him into that one. Great camera shot of Silas's butt. We see Greco Roman Are knuckle you lock. Me, little man? Pushing down with his own body weight, former two-time world television champion Silas Young. Of course, we'll see the TV title on the line later tonight. Shane Taylor defending against Bandito. And if, if Silas Young can, I would push Gresham over to the ropes again. Try to get a second rope break. Manipulating the hand and forcing the wrist in a direction it should not go. Never notice how the hands are still linked together. Was well, that wrist control that a wrestler needs? And nobody has wrist control better than Jonathan Gresham. Breaks the clasp instead. Oh, knife edge chop across the chest. Heard a fan reiterating well within the rules. Yeah, come on. Let's see what you got. Blocks the chop. Shoulder tackle sends Gresham to the mat. A little bit smarter than that, I think. Off the ropes, Gresham offers the ankles. Look at his left leg pushing yep. Silas's right leg out. That's gonna come into play here. Gresham is an artist. Come on, get the hell up and fight me like a man. No, you fight me, come on. You come, on. come on, get up. No, okay. Just like Anoki versus great, uh, that, Muhammad yeah. Ali. And that's a break. Yep. Two, three. That's one for Silas. Are you yep. kidding me? That is rope break number one for Silas Young. One to one, you only get three here in pure rules. Of course, Gresham has been 
Saying for years he'd love the Pure Championship to return. Yeah. Did a Ring of Honor update with great Kerry Silken, who is the possessor of the Ring of Honor Pure Championship. Now watch so this right here. Jonathan Gresham offering up the wrist of Silas. And that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to use that to gain his own advantage. That's what I alluded to earlier about that wrist control. A true wrestler, all they need is your wrists. They can control your whole body. Side headlock takeover. Yeah. Now wrenching it in. Yeah. And Gresham, the, the size difference oh. coming into play oh. a little bit every time. Yeah, but he's, it's going to come into play every match. Sorry to cut you off, Ian, but that's what makes Jonathan Gresham so great. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was going to say. It's like he uses that for his advantage. Like Hoist Gracie in, in UFC 1. Yep. Where it didn't matter the size of the fighter, just oh. took them out in fairly quick fashion. Look at that abdominal stretch strapped in. And this was the move that won him one of their encounters, their last encounter. It was after a low blow with, a, with the bell hammer. Yeah. This is where that size comes in. And there's that octopus. Gresham, can he get the arm hyper extended? Almost. Oh, forcing Silas That's to go two. to the ropes. That's two. That's two. And why you would think that, that is Silas Young. Number two for Silas Young. There it is. Two to one. Now, you'd think Silas Young would try to overpower, but he makes the decision to use his rope break and to restart this match. Young on the outside. These these matches can end in count out and disqualification. Gresham has finished a lot of people with that hold as well. So Silas Young knew he was in a lot of trouble. Certainly, I think back to some of the huge wins on the Global Wars Tour this past year, this past fall. And I know Gresham could sneak out a win, but you have to admit that the damage has not been done to Silas Young for that to get a victory. Nice drop at total. this point in the match. Well, Colt, you know as well as anybody, though, if you can waste the rope breaks of your opponent, correct? he could get that octopus locked on and get trap Silas. Same goes for Silas. If he can waste Gresham's rope breaks, too, he could lock something on and cost Gresham the match. Shoulder tackle sends Gresham to the mat. Off the ropes. And offering up those feet. Wow. He clanks those thumbs yep. together. That's exactly what he did. Nice schoolboy off the ropes. Drop down from Silas. This is Gresham's house. Crisscross. Hey. hey. Oh. Whoa. Still this trick in the book. <laughs> Little receipt from Gresham. You know what? This is probably the few that Gresham needs. Somebody as aggressive as Silas Young. Chris Silas Young needs is somebody as good as wrestling. He's bringing out the best of oh. these guys. Oh. Now, now, this, yeah. Now, if he does that again, he gets disqualified. Silas right? Young has Absolutely. been issued a warning for the use of a closed fist. He didn't like being made a fool. And with that old stop, look up trick, look familiar. Yeah. Had it one out of your playbook, Cole. That's the only time he'll be able to use that punch in this match. Oh, driving into the barricade. Of course, there's been two versions of the pure rules. The two version, versions? There's, versions? There's the version we're using here tonight. And the Virgin Mary is the two closed fists. The second is an automatic disqualification. Some longtime fans may remember that that used to eliminate a rope break. But instead, here tonight, we're using the version that is an automatic disqualification as Young brings Gresham into the ring. Outside in, double stomp on the midsection. And wow, you saw there, Gresham grabbed the rope on, after Silas Young let go of uh, stepping on the abdomen. It could have been considered a rope break. Very lucky there. But, but there's some things that are, that are involuntary that you just do out of instinct, and I think that was instinct. Just a one count. I think that kick out was instinct, sliding yeah. out under, bridging his way out of it. See some great submission wrestling here. The knee to the spine of Gresham. And now back to his feet. Head to head. Spinning out off the ropes. Caught. Driving the knee into the back of Gresham. Hooking the leg. Two. Just a two count. Rick, I'm going to be honest with you. In that transition, Silas Young was ahead of the game on Gresham because that head-to-head -head was supposed to end the reversal. But Silas Young hung on to it to stay in control. Well, we appreciate your honesty, Caprice. 
Gresham in the corner now. Silas Irish with. Oh, wow. The torque from Silas Young. And the smirk of Silas Young. Now leading Gresham back to his feet, guiding him back up to inflict more punishment. Irish whip into the corner. Smart move there by Silas. Going back to this Cobra twist, this abdominal stretch. We mentioned Anoki earlier. This is a move that he perfected. Great shot of the crowd here. Live crowd, best in the world 2019. Baltimore, Maryland. Of course, it was in 2014 when Ring of Honor made the leap to traditional pay-per-view. It was best in the world that kicked that off. The history continues here as Jonathan Gresham. And is he going to be able to muscle him over? Look at that. That was all muscle. Nobody home there for Gresham. Shot to the midsection. Off the ropes. Oh, single leg follows through half crab. This is what I'm talking about is bringing out the best wrestler in Silas Young as well. And yeah, you can see Gresham going for those ropes. It's the only decision he can do. And, and that's number two. Two, three. They each have one more left. That is rope break number two for Jonathan Gresham. So and if, if I'm Silas Young, I'm slapping that leg right up again, putting him on the ropes, asking him to grab, grab the ropes. Driving the boot into the head of Gresham. I'm with you, Colt. You've competed in these matches before. You competed for the Pure Championship when that existed from 04 to 06. Seems like a winning strategy. Gresham blocking the suplex here, lowering the center of gravity. Look at that. Now deadlift strength. Beautiful. Drives down Silas. Yep. He got under that center of gravity there. He's able to drive it from the hips. It's all in the hips. Yep. And the hips don't lie. Gresham looking to get back to his feet to take the advantage back in this Pure Rules match. Stalking Silas Young. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, thud to the chest. Irish whip, Gresham follows him in. Big kick, staggers Gresham. And it's Young with that great combination. Backbreaker clothesline, one, two, ooh. Nice transition. Oh, look at this. Gresham in the middle of the ring. Nice full Nelson on the mat here. It's almost like a crossface Nelson. Yeah. In perfect position, Gresham trying to push out of it, trying to reestablish his base. Seems like he's trying to grab the rope as well. Yeah, he sure is, and that'd be number three. He's willing to take it. Gets and he does. Gets to the ropes. So that's his last one. That is the third and final rope break for Jonathan Gresham. Gresham now with three rope breaks. If Young can lock in a submission, yep. Gresham cannot go to the ropes. If Young pins Gresham, Gresham cannot go to the ropes. Advantage Silas Young here in this Pure Rules match. Huge advantage Silas Young. And I have to admit, I would have thought Silas Young would have ran out of the rope breaks first. Young really showing that he's planned and game planned for this bout. Watching those old Pure Rules matches, driving Gresham down. The move for me is put on a submission and just sit in the ropes. Use those ropes for leverage, Science. Up and over. Gresham, though, can't capitalize. Getting just out of landing it. on his own two feet, the shock to the spine. That sciatic nerve. Boot to the face, second rope on the inside. It's Gresham, nice fake out. Oh, but he can't capitalize. Gresham. Oh. And it wasn't a fake. I think we both thought it was a fake. It was the inability to jump off the second rope. Gresham writhing in pain right now. Not only as we take a look at the replay. Oh, you are right, Colt. Something locked up in that lower back. Silas wanting to win this by count out. They've returned back to live action. Gresham making his way into the ring. Getting in well before the 20 count. Look at him. He's, oh. Silas, put a submission. You're right by the ropes. Use that as leverage. Anarchist suplex. Driving him down, going for the cover. One, two. Crush him with a lot of heart, gets out. Oh, no. Not a lot of heart. Oh. 
Maybe a lot of heart, but no, nothing behind it. And look at this. Nowhere to go. Great game plan by Young and fans. Gresham has used all three rope breaks. The ropes will not break this full Nelson, and he's got it on like Billy Jack Haynes. But Gresham breaking. Oh, Gresham trying to fight out of it. Hip thrust, no, and Young so smart going right back to it. He is, but if I'm Silas, I'm using the ropes for leverage. And he has not done that yet. Goes back to it, breaking it once again. Hips pop out. Silas going back to it. Nice trap down. Roll through. Pity combination two. Ooh, almost had him there. Gresham grabs the wrist. Hammer lock into almost the octopus. Uh, oh, he can't put it on, though. He can't connect it. The pain. Like you said, that sciatic, the lower back. And Silas Young still has one rope right left. Young might not yeah, need but, it. Yeah, Gresham's not even able to put it on right now. Gresham. What's what Gresham a, doing? What a technician. Oh, he. Oh. Gresham is forcing yeah. Silas's hand to the rope. Interesting move. Well played by Gresham. Now, that both is the third and final rope break for Silas Young. Both men now out of rope breaks. You talked about advantage, Silas Young. Yeah. We are back to a stalemate here. That was chess right there. That was a great game plan. You correct me if I'm wrong, but Silas also has a closed fist here. Silas. Yep. In major danger, if Gresham can lock in a submission, if he can, if he can get inside the head of Silas Young to throw the closed fist, yep. Gresham will win this. Yep. Yeah, but I, I feel advantage still, Silas Young. Gresham with that lower back, unable to jump off the second man. rope. Come on, keep your three rows, eh? Yes. Let's see what you got. Come on, give me one. No. Maybe asking for a closed fist. Yeah, he, he was asking for it, but Gresham saved it. Hoping he would give yeah. one. He saved no. it. Forearms are connecting. Some of those bearing close to the elbows, both forearms and elbows legal, trading them in the center of the ring. Gresham back up. Step up in Zagiri. Oh, Gresham could not capitalize on the German suplex front face lock from Silas. Gresham has enough to block it. He definitely doesn't have enough to do a suplex. What are you trying that for, Gresham? Oh! And the brunt of the lower back connects on the apron. But Rick Abani, nobody wins there. We're going to take a look at the replay as Gresham looks like he had it young. Going for Brog, the body weight. Gresham holding oh. on for everything. Oh, and the impact on that spine. I thought it was the lower back. It was the rear of Gresham jolting the spine. Right, but Gresham said, if I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. Going down together as Gresham rolling back into the ring. He seemed to grab the ring apron with him. Whoa! What? Well, as Todd Sinclair fixes the ring apron. Wait a second. He does not see. A low blow from Jonathan Gresham. Now, this is the way that Silas Young has beat Jonathan Gresham in the past. It has a little tit for tat. Gresham has the. Oh, he's in the ropes. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Gresham has it locked in. That was a tap. There you go. The winner of the Pure Rules match by submission, the Octopus, Jonathan. Now, that's a heck of a win for Gresham defeating a two-time TV champ, but that's sending me mixed signals in a pure wrestling match. Well, he had one punch left. Is that what you're saying, Is that <laughs> Well, you find a way to... I understand yeah. he's playing by the rules of Silas Young, but that's what made Jonathan Gresham better than Silas yeah. Young, is he didn't have to go to something like that. Super interesting. Does it do a coat of honor at the very end? There you see that Sinclair fixes the apron, the low blow to Silas Young, and that is the difference maker as that octopus is put on. Silas Young out of rope breaks, and he has no choice but to give it up. No choice at all. Your victor, Jonathan Gresham, the fans who were rallying behind Gresham yeah. the entire match, yep. maybe a little stunned at the turn of events here. Gresham going low, a little taste of his own medicine. Say, how many times have we said turnabout is fair play?